This is a tutorial on how to install the Tails Anonymous operating system on a Windows PC and configure the Clausemail email client to send and receive encrypted emails. So let's get started. Download a copy of Tails. If you want to verify the TAIL signature, instructions are on the TAIL's website. When the download is complete, burn a DVD disk image of TAIL's. Go to the Downloads folder, right click on the TAIL's image and select Burn Disk Image. When the DVD is ready, restart the computer and hold down the BIOS access key on startup. To find the BIOS access key for your computer, search for BIOS access key and the name of your manufacturer. Select the boot menu on the top toolbar and go to boot option. Select it and move your disk drive to the top. Then press save and exit. Here this is F10. Tails should start up from the disk automatically on startup. Press enter. Only select yes for more options if you plan to install additional software. Log in. If you want to, you can use Tails just like this. Surf anonymously, send Gorilla Mail, or whatever else you want to do. On the other hand, if you want to set up your email client in Tails and have Tails save your settings, then create a persistent volume on a USB stick. Insert a USB device and launch the Tails installer, located in Applications, Tails, Tails Installer. Select Clone and Install, in the drop down menu, select the USB device. Select Install Tails. When it's ready, shut down Tails and enter BIOS again. Now change the boot sequence so that the USB port is at the top, save and exit. Launch Configure Persistent Volume by going to Applications, Tails, Configure Persistent Volume. Enter a password for the persistent volume. And create it. Now select what data should be stored on the persistent volume. To find out what each of them do, search online for Tails Create and Configure Persistent Volume. To use the persistent volume, restart Tails. Select Yes, enter your persistent volume password and log in. Your configurations and passwords will now be saved onto the USB device. If you don't have a secure email account, sign up to one. Unfortunately, most of these cost money. My Colab is hosted in Switzerland and there's TorGuard as well as many others and Rise Up offer free accounts to activists. Now to configure Clausemail, select the Clausemail icon on the toolbar, add your name, 
This is the name or pseudonym that will appear to recipients. Enter your email address. Select forward. Here you need to add the server address. Search for your email provider server address and SSL encryption type. Here the SSL encryption is start TLS. If you can't find these settings, search for client configuration and the name of your email provider. Go back to clause mail and enter the IMAP address. Enter your email address and password. I'm going to select start TLS as specified by my provider. Down here, enter the IMAP address again. Select forward. Enter the outgoing server address starting with SMPT. And select the encryption type again. Select forward, save. Send an email to see if it works. If it doesn't work, go to your email account preferences. In configuration, preferences for current account. Select send. In the authentication drop down box, select login and enter your email address and password. Then select advanced and select the SMPT and IMAP ports. Make a note of the numbers. Open your browser and search for IMAP port and the name of your email provider. If the numbers are different, change them. Select Apply and OK. The final step is to send PGP encrypted mail. For this you need to generate a key pair for your email address. Open Account Preferences located in Configuration Preferences for Current Account and select GPG. Select Generate New Key Pair. Enter a password for your PGP key. And generate it. If you want people to be able to find your public key, export it to a key server. To add a contact's public key to the key library, open passwords and encryption keys located under System, Preferences, Passwords and Encryption Keys. Select Other Keys and press the search icon. Enter your contact's email address and search. Highlight the email address and select Import. Go back to clause mail, press apply and OK. To activate PGP encryption, go to options, privacy system and select PGP inline. Only use MIME if you know your recipient's email client supports this. Then go back to options again and select sign and encrypt. Compose your mail and send. 
you will be prompted for the password for your PGP key. That's it.